Hello and welcome to the Modern Mystic Radio Show on A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. Um, hope you've had a really pleasant week so far. Got lots of shows coming up over the week as well, so please stay tuned and stay interactive. Um, just to let you know how you can contact me outside of the show if you would like your own private readings. Really easily done. You can go straight to my website, which is www modern-mystic.co.uk or you can find me on Facebook under Mystic Sarah and also under Modern Mystic. Um, I do a weekly free live psychic session. Um, The next one's coming up I think either Saturday or Sunday I will let you know Um, but you need to sort of if you go onto the page like it you'll be notified as soon as that comes live. Um, Okay so I am looking forward to my two callers um, for tonight so get dialing in. Um, I'm just going to briefly explain how I work. So I work as a psychic medium and have been doing for the past 30 years. Um, I can also look at the future. I can give guidance. Um, I'm also known as the soulmate psychic. Plus, I am known as um, an Akashic record reader as well. So I work in a variety of different ways. So I've been very busy over those 30 years in terms of my own development and developing other people as well. Um, So today what I want to have a look at before I go on to my first caller are light workers. Now, do you feel that you are a light worker? So let me just describe the term. The term is a bit of a blanket term. It does cover a lot of aspects, but light workers workers generally as you can imagine are people that work in a light way or with the light Um, so we are looking at people that feel that they are naturally drawn towards their life purpose which ultimately is serving the good of all so people that are either healers therapists intuitives psychics themselves or perhaps work within um, the service area so working within nursing caring doctors um, you know police even can can fit into that light worker category so let's have a look at some of the traits of a light worker and let's just see how many you can take off okay so the first one that we have is that most light workers are very spiritual um, and have very strong spiritual beliefs but not necessarily in terms of religion so they have their own foundation it's normally quite a strong spiritual foundation what you do find with light workers is in fact that they are very old souls so they would have um, experience many many different things from both the religious element and also from the spiritual element so if this is spirituality is something that you are really drawn to or you're really fascinated by then chances are you could be a light worker okay let's go on to the next trait trait number two you are psychic or you have extreme sensitivity to, to things so maybe it's the case that you know who's on the other end of that phone before you pick it up or maybe it's the case that you can sense and feel the emotions of other people or pick up energy um, around you or in buildings for instance so if that's an element you might be a light worker let's go on with the next one Okay, so light workers are natural healers, and first and foremost, they are drawn to work on themselves. So, looking at self development, looking at self empowerment, and healing those deep issues. And what you do tend to find with light workers is that they have gone through um, quite a lot in their lives. and maybe even born into into certain challenging sort of relationship dynamics or situations that are very difficult to get through. Um, interestingly enough, I, I did do a reading for somebody, I think it was just yesterday, um, who unfortunately she'd lost a lot of people through suicide and you know this was one of the things we, we really did feel as though she was here for a, for a stronger purpose a more defined purpose um, working with people that are either suffering from um, losing somebody you know through suicide or you know protecting those that are thinking about suicide so quite a powerful powerful reading that was um, next trait is having a good heart and a good soul so really wanting to do the best by people and having that um, pure intention um, that no matter what they do it is for the greater good of all. Um, Number five, um, they've experienced 
their own sense of spiritual awakening. Um, so going through experiences where, you know, spiritually they feel that they are connected, um, maybe receiving great visions and great insights themselves. Um, number six, and they're not doing it to get rich. So their intention is purely to help and serve humanity um, also to you know in terms of focusing their attention on you know the earth as a whole so very earth centered um, number seven humbleness um, so light workers tend to be incredibly humble and not really wanting to um, stand out in the limelight Okay, so they tend to be a little bit more reserved, a little bit more quieter. I would say meek and mild. Uh, number eight, in saying that, we've got the opposite end of the spectrum, which is fearlessness, stubbornness and tenacity. So light workers can, when they put their mind to it, be very determined, um, particularly when they believe in something or they're very passionate about something. In terms of fulfilling their life purpose, they are quite um, determined and strong in that respect. Okay, on with the next one. Not fitting into the world or feeling as though you don't fit in. So feeling as though you're different from everybody else, maybe not being able to really gel with the whole nine to five, um, maybe not being able to gel with um, materialism and things like that that we kind of um, are surrounded by you know, when we're looking at uh, modern day life. Um, feeling a close bond to nature and also to the animal kingdom. Um, so if that's you, if you feel very drawn, if you've got a knack with animals um, and a love for animals and also you're very concerned about where this earth is going, that could indicate that you are indeed a light worker. Okay, number 11, spreads positivity and light wherever they go. So walking into a room and being able to change the atmosphere and tone and the energy of that place. Um, okay, on with the next one, wanting to belong and connect to other light workers. Um, so if that sounds like you, um, then perhaps you are indeed a light worker and perhaps you need to find out what that mission is and if you know what that mission is then it maybe it's time for you to step into that okay let's go on with our first caller we have lisa who is in south yorkshire uh, in the uk um hi lisa can you hear me i can yes thank you can you hear you clearly hi Yes, yes, I Hello. can. Um, hi, welcome to the show. Um, lovely to have you on. Do you have a question for me tonight? Um, yeah, uh, I've recently lost uh, my mum. I uh, just wondered if you could connect. If that's possible, right, okay. right, let's just see what I get with, um, with her energy as well. So are we talking about weeks in, in instead of months here? Uh, a few months. Yeah, a couple of months. It's been a couple of months, okay. Because what she was saying here is weeks. Um, right, okay. Right, I'm just pulling out some cards for you to try and tune into your mother's energy. Okay, so the first thing that I'm getting, um, the first thing that I'm getting with this is that um, for what, for whatever reason, I don't feel, even though I feel that um, there was an awareness that her time was coming to a close. Um, there's also a feeling of yeah. not really being able to say goodbye properly or in the way that you wanted to. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I, I feel like there was so much more that that you wanted to say, and there was so much more that she wanted to say. But it's almost as though, um, how can I put it? I feel like everything was taken out of your hands. Does that make sense, or out of her hands? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Um, now, even though it hasn't been that long. 
um, you know, the feeling here is that um, already I feel that she has been trying to connect with you um, a little bit more directly. Does that make sense to you? If you had things yes. sort of happen or the odd yes. sign or the odd dream, um, because I feel yeah, like, dream. Um, yeah, yeah. Because quite often, quite often what I find is that um, they, they like to come through in, in the dream state, particularly when you haven't had the opportunity to say your, your final goodbyes. Um, and it's almost as though they recognise... Um, that you you need that closure. Does that make sense? You need that closure in order for you yeah. to heal. Yeah. And this is what yeah, she's kind yeah, of talking about. Comfort. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah, what she's yeah. talking about. She's talking about. Um, it's, it's, it's very, very, she keeps on saying it's very, very early days. <laughs> very, very early mm -hmm. days. But I feel yeah. that she's. Um, you know she's she's wanting to kind of give you and this is this is really um like typical of her personality of wanting to give as much does that make sense as much as she possibly could to she was always yeah. there to help you does that make sense and to oh, to yeah. um yeah yeah my yeah. Um, yeah, 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 and I feel like how can I put it? What she's saying is that um, in you know, as in life, as in life, she's doing the same on the other side in in trying to help you to um, to not to move forwards because she understands that that you know you, that's not something that you are particularly ready to do. Do you do you know what I mean? She's she's oh. very sympathetic yeah. Um, to yeah, that. Yeah, and she. She keeps on yeah. showing me a cup of tea. Oh, oh she loves a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, can, yeah. I, can, I feel like she, she, she almost like had one on the go all the time. Yeah, I feel like me. Yeah, we're very much alike in that respect. Yeah, we did like a bit of tea. <laughs> Yeah, because she's yeah, she's giving me this like that. funny, it's just like a funny scene of her stirring <laughs> the cup of tea like this yeah. as she's talking to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Very much so. Yeah, off on. <laughs> um, yeah. Off now I'm kind of I'm kind of picking up on on um, on how she on, on I feel like on how she passed or or you know her her last sort of. Um, uh, hours maybe last days um and she's yeah. giving me the impression that um she was um not she was like going in and out of consciousness does that make sense yeah that's correct yeah um yeah, yeah that's right yeah you know the, the feeling that she's giving me is like being quite heavily medicated or you know being given something yeah. um that's kind yeah. of making me go she in and out a, a bench. yeah she was on a ventilator yeah yeah, yeah that's right yeah, yeah. um and right. what she's also saying here is that um she knows she knows that you did the absolute best that you could in terms yeah. of supporting her through that does that make sense and she knows that um it's like she knows that you were how you were constantly thinking about her does that make sense even when you weren't able to physically um, be by her side you know 24 7 um i feel yeah. like she's, she's she's saying you know do not feel that you didn't do enough because you did more than enough is what she's saying okay Oh, lovely! Thank you, thank you. Do you have, do you have si do, do you have siblings as well? Do you brothers, yeah, sisters? I do. Yeah, because what she's sister. saying, yeah, yeah, she's 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 saying, can you can you um, can you look after them for her? Because I feel that yeah, yeah. Um, you know, out of the group of you, um, yeah, I feel. You're, you're, you're kind. She's saying you're come. You're the strongest. You might not feel it, but you are the strongest. Not, to be honest, I'm, <laughs> I'm the youngest. Um, I've got an older sister, and um, my mom's asked her. She promised. She asked my sister to promise that she would look after me. Um, so I'm the youngest, but we're, we're now closer together since my mom's passing. So yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I mean, I, I feel that she's also asking you to kind of step into yeah, her, sh her yeah. shoes um, as well, yeah. because I feel um, it's almost as though everybody needs everybody needs your 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 help with this. Um, yeah, I feel, you know, I don't know why she's showing me this, but she keeps on showing me yellow flowers. Does that make sense to you? Yellow um doesn't doesn't know i can't see any more yellow flowers um i can see um, when you're saying yellow I, i'm looking at a picture now of me with a yellow with a yellow top but i can't see yellow flowers um i'm trying to think about it, it might come to me later but i can't think of anything mm -hmm. with yellow flowers okay well, she's just showing me this 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 flash of yellow flowers um coming in yeah. um right now, what my feeling here is as well, because she's not really giving me reference to um, to to your your dad. Um, so, were they not right. together? Um, my dad passed away several years ago um, in 1993, so it's been gone a while. Okay. Um, so now All we're right. together. Yeah, yeah, because because normally I I see if they um they want to connect, do you know what I mean? Pass a message on to to their other half. But you know, my feeling here yeah. is that you know they've they've reunited, um over on the other yeah. side. Um, oh, look, look. and I also feel that there's there is you know when we're looking at this, there's some really exciting news coming in for you over this year. She's saying this yeah. year has started off really tough. Okay. Um, however, yeah. she does see you at the end of the year um, actually having some really pleasant news. And she said it's really welcome at that time. But just to let you know that it's from yeah. her. OK, does that make sense? There's a blessing coming oh, in from you. her. OK. Oh, lovely. Thank you. That's great. Thank you very much. That's been lovely. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. And that. Bye-bye. And that's it for me now. So once again, you can connect to me through my website or through the Mystic page, uh, Mystic Sarah page on Facebook. So goodbye for now. I'm going to wish you a wonderful week ahead and I shall see you the same time next week.